Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll solve Lead code problem number 2160. That is minimum sum of four digit number after splitting digits. So in the problem statement, they have given a number and we have to split the given number in such a way that the sum of the uh, newly splitted number is minimum. And we are also allowed to have leading zeros in the new numbers. So how we can do this? So let's take example one that is 2932. So we have to split 2932 in, into two new numbers and we have to do it in a such a way that the sum of the two new number is minimum. So let's do one thing. First, uh, let's take all the digit out of this number that is 2, 9, 3 and 2. And let's sort this into descending order. So sorting this in descending order will be 9, 3, 2, 2. And out of these four numbers, now we have to form two new numbers. So what we can do is uh, for one number, we'll keep nine at the ones place. For the second number, we'll keep three at the ones place. And for the uh, now the third digit, we'll keep two here and two here. So this will be our two new numbers. And when we sum these two, we'll get 52. So let's take example two. So in example two, the input number is 4009. And we have to split this number into two new numbers such that the sum is minimum. So uh, let's take the number out of this. That will be 4009. Uh, sorting it into descending order, it will be 9400. And out of this number, uh, we have to form two new number. So new number uh, on one's place we will put 9 for the second number on one place we will put 4. Now we are only having 0 and 0. This 0 we can have over here and second here. So the sum of this, these two number will be 13. So let's code this in C++. So for splitting the number we will store it into the vector. So we will form one vector that will be of int type. Let's name it V and let's not disturb the actual input number so we'll store the uh, input number into tem Yeah, so what I did here, first I created a vector v and also I have taken the copy of given input number into tem so, uh, so that we can divide tem and we can reduce it to 0 and we don't lose the number. And here we are storing each digit in the vector v and after storing uh, each digit into vector v, we are sorting the vector into decreasing order. And after sorting the vector, the first, uh, the first digit that is the ones place, these two digits will be on the ones place and this will be on the tens place. That's why I am multiplying it by 10 and 10. And at last we are returning the least sum. So let's run this code. Yeah, so the given test case is accepted. Let's run for all the test cases. Yeah, so this is accepted for all the test cases. Thanks for watching. And if you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe.